What if energy drinks contained real atomic energy? We're talking about the kind of energy released during radioactive decay. Sound dangerous? You bet. At the turn of the 20th century, the dangers of radiation poisoning were largely unknown. As a result, some companies ironically began marketing radioactive products as a way to treat illness and disease. One famous product was the energy drink called Radithor, which was a mixture of water with a highly radioactive element called radium. Radithor was manufactured from 1918 to 1928 by Bailey Radium Laboratories. Bailey Labs claimed Radithor gave you energy as well as cured a host of health ailments. They even suggested it as an aphrodisiac, only making it all the more popular. However, most Americans never got their hands on Radithor since radium was relatively rare and expensive to mine and purify. Today, a single bottle of Radithor would cost around $15. But that price tag didn't deter American industrialist and amateur golfer Evan Byers. Byers was introduced to Radithor by his doctor, and the drink eventually killed him. When you drink radium water, 80% of the radium leaves your body relatively quickly, while the remaining 20% enters your bloodstream, eventually reaching your bones where it stays for good. So, a few bottles wouldn't prove fatal, but Byers didn't drink just a few. For years, he reportedly drank one to two bottles of Radithor a day. By the time he died at age 52, he had holes in his skull, had lost most of his jaw, and his bones were so radioactive that they had to be placed in a lead-lined coffin. Since it takes radium 1,600 years to become half as radioactive, Byers' bones will remain highly radioactive well into the next millennium. Shortly after Byers' death, the government closed down Bailey Labs, and the FDA took more assertive action against supposed radioactive medicine, requiring proof of their safety and effectiveness. This put a swift end to the country's peculiar market for quack radioactive products, but not before it cost a man his life. So the next time you power down that energy drink, be thankful it's radium-free.